We are here tonight to discuss with the leader of the Boston Borough Council their plans regarding the members' interests register and why it has not appeared online as the local government act requires. Welcome, Councillor Chairbridge. Please take a seat. Thank you, Jeremy. Councillor Chairbridge, you are the leader of the council, are you not? Oh, I might be. Come on, Councillor. Surely you can answer that question. I might do. Okay. Councillor, are you ever going to put online the register of members' interests for the council? Sure, we might do. Councillor, the law says you must publish it, so are you going to? Well, we might be. We here at the BBC understand you plan to water down what you put on the register of members' interests, is that correct? Jeremy, it could be. Um, then Councillor, you plan to write your own version of the register with less information on it than the present paper one in your worst street offices. We could be. Councillor, why are you and your fellow Conservative councillors trying to hide your interests? Have you got something to hide? I could not possibly comment. Are you going to declare what political party you belong to? We may do. Are you going to declare any interest in buildings and how many you own? How about how much land you own? Your occupation? We could do. Are you going to declare any interest in any companies you may own including ones you have shares in? Are you going to declare any interest in charities, public bodies, other councils? We could do. Councillor, this is getting boring and we are getting nowhere. Are you going to declare interests in say, clubs, societies, secret and otherwise and fellowships? Of course not. Oh I mean um, we could be. So what are you going to declare in the Members' Interest Register, Councillor? As little as possible, Arps. I mean we plan to be as honest and transparent as we can be within the framework of the Register. Councillor Chebridge, if you are writing the framework then you decide what goes into it. Yes. Good isn't it? Oh I mean um, well, oh dear. Well, that has said from here, we've run out of time. Councillor Chairbridge's answers were as clear as mud. Now you will still never know if Councillor AA has an interest in Company BB that he has just awarded a huge contract to. This could turn out worse than the old Russian. I am Jenny Packman and you heard it first on the Boston Broadcasting Co-op.